Do you have students with speech or writing difficulties, and do you find that they feel like they aren't a part of the class, or that it's difficult to share their thoughts and needs? If so, you might consider communication aids. Communication aids are assistive technologies that help individuals with communication difficulties express themselves. If you're familiar with Augmentative and Alternative Communication, AAC, devices, then you're familiar with communication aids. Communication aids can help students with verbal difficulties interact in a number of ways. Let's take a look at some of these aids, starting with simple communication devices and then on to more complex devices. A communication apron is a customizable apron that teachers can wear containing changeable Velcro-backed pictures. The pictures represent different needs or messages, and the communication challenge student can simply point at whichever one indicates what they want to express. There are pre-made pictures you can use, or you can create others that are more specific to your students' needs. Communication boards are similar to communication aprons in that they use pictures to symbolize what the student may want to communicate. There are both low and high-tech variations. Simple boards work just like the aprons, except they aren't worn. You can even design your own low-tech communication boards. High-tech versions typically involve a computer and a dynamic display, which can sometimes be used in conjunction with other software to produce audio output for students to hear how sentences are structured and spoken. For example, a student might touch pictures of I want, phone, and parent, and the computer might say, I want to call my mom. If you were designing your own communication board, which images would you include? Enter ideas for pictures that would be helpful for your students, and enter a brief description of what that picture would symbolize. For instance, a picture of a toilet could be used to vocalize a need to use the restroom. Besides communication boards, there are also voice output devices, which allow messages to be recorded and then played back whenever needed, typically just by pressing a button. This can help verbally challenge students be heard. For instance, if the recorded message states, I know the answer, they're given the chance to participate. Or a message of, hello, how are you, might help them feel more integrated socially. A teacher, parent, or speaking student can record the message for the non-speaking student. This is perhaps the most common way voice output devices are used, but not the only way. For instance, students with speech impediments can benefit from these devices by recording themselves and then playing the recording back to practice their speech skills. There are different kinds of voice output devices, including single message devices and sequenced message devices. The examples given thus far illustrate the use of a single message device, which allows you to store only one message at a time. The message can be recorded over when you want to change it to match whatever activity is in progress, which makes a single message device very versatile. Sequence message voice output devices allow you to record and store a series of separate but related consecutive messages. Pressing the device once plays the first message. Pressing it again plays the second and so on. Verbally challenged students can use such a device to perform their lines in a class play or to deliver a presentation, among other uses. As we just learned, sequence message devices can help students with communication difficulties interact and feel more a part of class. We gave a couple of suggestions for using these, but can you think of more examples? Use the lines provided to enter your ideas, and then click Next to learn more about communication aids. Speech synthesizers are another type of communication aid. They use special text-to-speech technology to convert text into human-like speech. In other words, users can type text into a computer, and the software will narrate the text aloud. In this way, nonverbal students are given a voice. 
There are many assistive technologies available for students with speech impairments or difficulties. We've looked at some in this lesson, but there are more options that you can find with a little research. It's a good idea for schools to consider these technologies, as communication aids can help verbally challenge students feel more a part of the classroom environment. Here are some real-life examples of how the concepts discussed in this lesson could be used in a classroom, either as a teaching tool or an administrative aid.